Okay, let's do some quick um, math work on how to do a line plot. And a line plot is a very simple type of graph. And here we have a question from uh, investigations about peanut count. And each of the students in Mr. Herrera's class took a handful of trail mix and counted the number of peanuts. Just in case to give you the visual, if you don't know what trail mix is, is this really tasty thing with uh, almost always raisins and nuts and um, some M&Ms. And it sounds like each person in this class took a handful and they're seeing how many nuts did they have in their trail mix. And here you can see is a list of their data um, of trail mix. So you might want to take a look. You don't need to start your line at zero always. You can see what is the minimum just by looking here. It looks like minimum is going to be 5 and the maximum is going to be 13. So I just need a line that goes from 5 to 13. So I'm going to draw a line like that and then you need to add in the numbers. And then you can simply represent uh, each person with an X. So Benson had eight, so I'm going to put an X at eight. Yuki had five. Noemi, six. Derek, 13. And keep going. And you can see I did the rest of this row, and you can keep going and do this row, and that's what your line plot is going to look like. Um, you may want to start it a little bit lower than I did, so you have more space in case you have uh, a row going a little bit higher. And uh, then for my class, if you're doing this, uh, answer some questions. So if you took a handful of the same trail mix, how many peanuts do you think you would get? And then importantly, explain why. So you may need a little bit more space to explain why. Um, just write more if you need to. And then finally, what is the highest number of peanuts a student counted? That's pretty easy. Just look back at your chart or your graph and you should be able to answer that. So that is a line plot and the homework help for my class. Thank you.